Namaste everyone. Thank you very much for joining me in the video. In this one, I'm going to show you an amazing music player which has been developed on Django. And this is the homepage of the application. How you can use this application, let me just guide you about it. So once you are done with, you know, putting the application up on your local host, you have to access it on port number 8000. By default, Django is accessible on 8000. But if you want to change the port like the way I have done it, so you can also access it on some other port. Let me just show you the command here. Run this command python manage.py run server 9000 to access the application on my local host on port number 9000. Now how you can use the application, let me tell you that. So you have to first create your profile on the platform. Let me create a random profile with a random name. So yeah. Done with creating a profile with username Manju1. Okay, let me sign into the application and right on the top we can see the username. Okay, so if a person, if you have to play a song after signing, in, signing into the application, so it's very easy, you just have to bring the cursor over uh, an icon where, you know, the song of which you want to play. It can be a, you know, album, it can be a, a movie also. So for now I'm playing this song, let me see if we can hear the sound or not. So you'll have to tell me in the description, okay, whether the sound was audible to you or not. So you were able to hear the sound, right? I'll not be able to play the whole song uh, in the video because it will be a copyright issue then. I don't want to, uh, you know, do that for now, uh, just because of that. Okay, let's now check out this option I. So it will redirect you to a page like this where you can you know, use create new playlist for creating a new playlist. You can also add this song to your created playlist. You can add this song to your favorites playlist also. So let me, let me just show you how a playlist can be created. So here you have to just uh, give a name to the playlist. So my songs, this is what I would like to create a playlist with. Okay, so I've successfully created a playlist. Right, and let me just add to playlist. So my songs, as you can see earlier, it was not there. Now my songs named playlist is present over here. My songs add to favorite. Okay, so let's come back on the home page. And okay, so the song again, you know, so automatically you will the song will be played and you'll be able to hear the sound also. Right, let's check out the playlist. So as you can see, there are two playlists present over here. In my songs, I can see the song which I just added. Then in uh, this also, there is a song which I added. I think I, I created two different playlists by uh, mistake. But you know, it's very easy for you guys to create a playlist on the application and add, this, add your favorite songs. Right, let's come back on home and Check out the other things. So there is a search bar right on the top, as you can see, where you, which you can use for search different songs. Then if you click here on all songs, it will give you, uh, you know, these three options. So if suppose you want to search for an Hindi song, you can do that too. So I would like to search for the Divya Kumar's song. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm able to see a song over here which I can play, but I'll not be able to. I'll not do that. Let me just put it on mute. Let's do it uh, because I was not doing it earlier because of the copyrights issue, as you know. So I would like to put it on mute. Okay, it's playing. You'll not, you're not hearing the sound, but it is on play mode. Then I can fast forward it. Sorry, I can. I think it is not uh, there for this song, but other for the other songs when I did, it was there. Uh, then if you want to download the song, you can do it very easily just by hitting the download option. So this is what you are going to come across. Here you can select the location where you want to save the song. So I would like to save it on 
my desktop as you can see the sound has got uh, successfully downloaded so that's again one of the benefits of the web, web application then we can you know playback speed we can increase or decrease we can control the playback speed from here so there are different options available let's just increase the speed so as you can see now the slider has started moving uh, you know in a fast manner right so this is the whole uh, look and feel of the web application and the code of this application uh, is there in the link present in the description section click it it will redirect you to a github repository where you will find the entire code that you can use for uh, running the application on your respective machine and if you want to know how you can deploy the application gcp or how you can host the application do let me know about it just call on my below on all the number below which is getting reflected on your screen so also find my number in the description section thank you very much for joining me in the video i hope you guys uh, liked this video a lot do not forget to like and share this video in your group so as to make it reach to the maximum students possible they can also come and join my channel and enjoy these free coding classes which i'm providing and also enjoy these uh, you know applications which i'm sharing on my youtube channel free of cost Thank you so very much. Bye-bye. Take care and have a great, great day ahead, guys.